my friends and welcome to Polina Art. Today we're going to be painting this beautiful still life inspired by a painting by Helen Van Wyck. She's one of my favorite artists. I'm going to attach a link on the description box below of her YouTube channel with her paintings. Now this painting, I got it from a book of Helen that I purchased on Amazon. This is the book, it's called Color Recipes. And there's a photo of this beautiful painting inside. So today I would like to show you how I created my own version. If you would like to see how I created this beautiful painting inspired by Helen Van Wyck. Stay with me and let's paint together. Today I'm working on 11 by 14 canvas board that I prepped with a little bit of white gesso and black gesso to create this color. This is my reference photo and I tried to match a little bit this color from the original painting. And this is why I chose this color for my canvas board. I prepped this the night before, so now it's nice and dry. It's my reference photo, a beautiful painting by Helen Van Wyck. So now what I want to do is I'm going to transfer my fruit onto my canvas. In order to do that, I'm roughly going to divide this in four. So I'm going to go in here. I'm roughly going to divide it in the center, going this way and in the middle here. So my reference photo is divided into four quadrants. And this gives me a very good idea where my fruit is located. And these are the only guidelines that I'm going to go by. Now, if I look at the geometrical figures, it's going to make it easier for me. And this is like a circle, a circular form. This is an oval. And this is like a square. This is more like a square shape. So I'm going to transfer into my canvas just going by these shapes. And with some white chalk, I'm going to do my markings. So my canvas is roughly, the center is roughly in here. I don't measure anything, but it's probably a good idea to do that. But I think I have a good sense of, I think I have a good sense of where the centers are roughly. And I'm gonna do my round circle here, which is gonna be the onion. And my orange is going to be here. I'm transferring the oval shape.
Okay, I have my lettuce done and I'm gonna start putting some basic colors on my vegetables. I have a little bit of brown and green for my pepper. And I'm just gonna leave a few of my lines so I don't lose my pepper under all that paint. I'm just using an old round brush. I have a little bit of red, purple and yellow for my onion, for my red onion. Now these colors we can adjust later. This is just for the for the first layer because I want to see how my colors are going to look I can always change adjust them I should say I'm using my brush following the shapes of my vegetables my onion is round so I'm my strokes are going this way following the shape have a little more purple now just to start adding some of the the colors the onion has here with a wet q-tip I'm going to remove a little bit of the paint this is going to give me an idea where my highlights are going to be and in here as well. This gives me a good idea of how my fruit is looking and if I have the shapes correctly by adding some of the highlights. Let's do our lemon. The lemon is very warm. Might be an orange, not sure. But I mix a little bit of my yellow with red and a little bit of white to create this color. And I'm going to add a little bit of white around it. There's lighter in, a little bit lighter in here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of darker, the same shade darker. I added a drop of purple in there. I like to use purple for shading. When I use this kind of colors, I think the purple looks really pretty. Okay, we have the basic colors for our vegetables. We have established the background, the main subjects, and some of the shadows. At this point, all we have to do is start building on the colors. I'm gonna go back to my paper and add a little bit of highlight, and I can darken a little bit my background. I think I'm going to do that first. Now that this part is dry, I'm not going to be lifting my paint. So I'm going to go ahead and add a second layer of my brown with green. And I can add some in here too. I'm going to start adding some highlights to my pepper using some yellow and green on my brush. I'm gonna start adding a little bit of highlight in here. 
I always make sure I look at my reference photo. Now this painting is not overly blended, but we can drag the color down a little bit. We can blend it a little bit. And just pure yellow on this side. We're gonna let that be for a little bit. Let's work a little bit on the onion. I'm gonna add a little bit of light in here. This is a little bit of red with yellow. And again, I'm trying to create the round shape with my strokes. And I've added a little drop of purple in there too. I think the shadows look really pretty with the purple in, in this onion. I'm not sure what colors Helen used. I have not seen a tutorial for this, for this painting. And the challenge is for me to do it with my own colors and my own techniques. I'm going to add a little bit of white in here. I'm going to blend them very little, just a little bit, so they're not so bright. Just with a mop brush. And I'm going to work on the outer part of my lemon. And there's a little bit of highlights in here. I'm going to add more yellow, more orange. Yeah, I think I think this is an orange, you guys. The more I paint it, the more I think it's an orange. What do you guys think? Let me know. There's a little bit of brown in here. And add more of my little bit of purple in there. Let's do add the shadows. I see a little bit of the purple in here too. There's a little the end of the fruit in here. It's a little bit like that. It's a little bit softer. I'm gonna come in just with yellow to add further highlights to my pepper. I'm just using my yellow now. I'm going to add some yellow to my onion in here. I'm going to add a little bit of light that I see in here. I'm going to add more shadows on my pepper here. Starting to define my pe pepper a little bit more. I'm going to work on the shadows while I let this stew and decide what I need to do. And for my shadow, I have a little bit of my brown, a drop of purple, and a little drop of white. I'm going to darken here a little bit. It seems a little bit too light. And I'm going to add a little bit of more of a highlight in there, just in here. Again, I'm going to blend it so it's not so stark white in there. A little bit in here, here. And more white in here. And the painting is done, my friends. As you can see, all you need are just the desire to do it, some paint and some chalk. And with some easy techniques, you can easily transfer your reference photo into your canvas just by dividing your canvas roughly into four quadrants and your reference photo as well. 
And then instead of looking at an onion, an orange, and a pepper, what you look for the geometrical forms instead that makes it much easier. My onion was just a round circle. My orange was just an oval. And the pepper was more of a square shape. And then with whatever colors you have, you can mix them and create your own beautiful version. I only work with just a few colors. I'm going to list them all in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any content from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.